What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back on the ranked up ladder with this Life Orb Venusaur and Charizard team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. We're closing in on 3,000 subs. You guys are the best. I love the support and I love making videos for you guys. So on this team, like I said, we got Charizard and Venusaur and they're going to thrive under the sun. We have the Torkoal to set it because the Charizard has solar power and if Venusaur has cooler fill to double its speed in that heat, in that heat. Venusaur has Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, and Earth Power. A nice little moveset for him, a normal one as well. This Charizard has its normal moveset besides Solar Beam. It has Heat Wave and Blast Burn. Double Fire Move, we have one to actually hit two targets and one to just do big stab damage to one. We got that Torkoal to set that Drought with that Eruption, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Yawn. That Torkoal is going to be awesome. It has a Focus Sash as well in case we want to make sure we get off a Yawn or make sure we get off a move. We also have that Dust Cops if we want to play the other side of the scene, which is going to be the Trick Room side. He has Trick Room, Nightshade, Bulldoze, and Ally Switch. The Bulldoze can actually trigger the Weakness Policy to this T-Tar down the left corner. And the T-Tar can also set the Sand Stream save if they're playing like a Rain Team or some other Weather Team that we do not want. One here so we got the t-tar with that sand stream weakness policy rock side crunch high horsepower and protect and then in the final spot we got toe kiss with that follow me it got super luck and scope button so me and crits are coming at him with that air slash and dazzling green for stab move guys you want to try out this team for yourself rent the code is at the bottom of the screen i feel like this team is going to be very strong on the rank ladder and i feel like it's going to be pretty simple to use but without further ado let's hop onto that rank ladder and try to get some wins with this team Weather versus weather in battle number one. This guy has a hail team. I got a sun team. We're going at it. We're going at it. Torkoal can obviously set that sun turn one. So I actually might go... Do I lead him? Do I lead him or do I hold him back? I might actually hold him back here, which I'm going to do. I'm not going to set the, the what's called the sun right away. I'm going to let him make his move. See if he wants to lead that nine tails to get the, the hail going. And then I'm going to come in and set the sun afterwards. So Torkoal's going to be a back end mon. Who do I lead? Who do I lead? I think Venusaur and Togekiss could be very, very well. Venusaur and Tokus, or I could just go Charizard and just pop a Heat Wave, get that Drought rolling, and get a double kill. Like, oh my lord, that could be dangerous. That could be so dangerous. We're going to lead Charizard and Tokus here, and I'm going to bring Torkoal and Venusaur in the back end. Yo, let's get rolling with this one. Jeez, yo, Charizard can tee off. He can absolutely just tee off here. I think he's going to lead uh, Darmanitan and maybe, what's it called? Hmm. Darmanitan and Alola Ninetales, or if he's playing it like me, he's going to bring that Alola Ninetales in the back end. I think Venusaur actually could have been the way to go with the lead. Now that I'm thinking about it, because Darmantan's probably going to outspeed that Charizard. But I don't think he can want that. I don't think he can want that, especially if we Dynamax. Especially if we Dynamax, we just kind of roll out there, get a G-Max Wildfire going, and take out one of the Pokemon. But it might be sad. So I'm going to go for like a Heat Wave, get double double hit in the drought. It's going to be huge damage. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, go in that link in the description below. Scroll down a little bit. Smash that like button while you're there. But hit that link in the description below. Gene25 on Twitch. We stream five plus days every single week. So come hang out with me. Come talk it up, chat it up, all that good stuff. But this guy goes in with Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme and uh, the Mammoth Swine. Mr. Rhyme and the Mammoth Swine. Um, I'm not going to set the drought. I'm not going to set the drought. There's really no need for me. Do I go into a heat wave though? I could go into a Heat Wave, double up, and then just uh, pop off into a Dazzling Gleam. I think that is going to be a smart play. But to be honest, he m do I Dynamax? No, I'm just going to stay here. I'm just going to stay here. I'll save my Dynamax potentially for my Venusaur. There we go. Nice little Heat Wave here. I'm not going to swap in yet. I'm just going to do some big old damage over here. Mr. Rhyme takes some huge damage here. And he eats his berry as well. So we're going to be able to get some nice damage off with that Heat Wave. Hopefully we get a burn maybe on the Mammoth Swine. That could be huge. Did we get it? Nope. Rockside's going to come in. That's actually that's actually big for him. Rockside's going to do big damage for us. And that thing just one taps my Charizard like nothing. Like nothing, yo. Charizard out of here. Charizard gone. It's okay. We're going to get in this Dazzling Gleam off here. And yeet that. Boop. Do some nice damage. I can't believe... Oh, what's going on? He's going to go for an after you. I can't believe that uh, Mammoth Swine is faster than my... Uh, than my... What's it called? Than my Togekiss. That's kind of weird. That is kind of weird. All right, so we know Mr. Rhyme is the slowest here. We know Mr. Rhyme is the slowest. Shiny Venusaur comes out here. Um, I think we're chilling right now. I think we can just go into a safe uh, energy ball. Or do I go into a stab move? I mean, not a stab move. Or do I go into Dynamax and boost our special defense? Or I could wait for that with a Torkoal. So I'm just going to go into an energy ball here. And then I'm going to roll into a Dazzling Gleam. So I know we outspeed. I know we're chilling. I know we're chilling. So we can get rid of both these Pokemon here. Unless he protects or Dynamaxes, which I do not see any of that happening. Might just swap or maybe go for an ice shard with that uh with that rhyme. With that rhyme. But this is what I'm hoping. This is what I'm hoping. We we pick up the double KO here. We Dynamax next turn. He has to, he's forced to set the hail. Can't believe, oh, this thing outspeeds my Venusaur. If I flinch, I'm gonna be kinda mad. But kinda be salty. 
Actually, might take me out here. Hold up. Oh, hold up. Hold up, people. Energy ball comes out. Yeet. You can say bye bye to Mammoth Swan. Jeez, I thought that Venusaur could definitely outspeed that thing. Hopefully, this thing's like doing something dumb, looking after you. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. He goes for a free shot. That's going to take me out. It's going to pick up the double kill for him. Jeez. I did not expect that. Oh, we survive on one. We survive on one. Hold up. We survive on one. And we're fine. I'm fine. I should totally be fine here. I got a Dynamax of Venusaur. That's got to be a fact, right? He goes Frost Last. Does that thing have Snow Morning? That thing's got to have a Snow Cloak or something like that. But we get the Torkoal out here. The Heat's going to get rolling. Um, hmm. How do I play this one? <laughs> How do I play this one? I think he's going to swap into the Ninetales. He's had to bring the Ninetales. He had to have bring that Ninetales, right? I still think I Dynamax. And I go into the, uh, the Overgrowth. Hmm. I wish this thing had like something to set this on. But I still think I go into the overgrowth over on here, and I just drop a big old eruption. And I drop a big old eruption. Cause he's gonna swap into the nine tails. That's a fact. That is a fact. He's gonna swap the rhyme into nine tails, and then he's gonna take out my Venusaur with that frost last. But yo, we got a Dynamax here. We have to Dynamax. Like that's the plan. If he doesn't swap, then then we might be chilling. <gasps> I don't think he'd swap. I don't think he'd swap because I think the the Pokemon swap comes out before the Dynamax animation. Unless, yo, unless these things have Ice Shard. Oh, no. They gotta have Ice Shard, right? Just to take me out. First turn priority here, but hopefully not. If not, we can potentially take out that Frost Slice. We're at 2 HP. And we can be rolling pretty strong here. Let's see what happens here. He's Dynamax as well. Oh, wait. Who's he going after? Who's he Dynamax? He's Dynamax in the Frost Slice, hands down. I think probably has Snow Cloak, which actually raises, raises his evasiveness in the hell. So he might be swapping, but it doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. Man, dude, Frost Slice is so dope. This is such a sick hail team. I, I want to get my hands on this because I love Frost Slice. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. Ghost and Ice type? Wonderful. But we do go first. We get an Overgrowth off. That is going to be honestly huge. Nice stab damage here. Real big old damage. We're going to take ourselves out with that Life Orb. And if we can get off this, uh, this what's it called? We could be chilling. If we can get off this Eruption, we could be potentially chilling. We're going to cover the battlefield. And we're going to die to Life Orb damage. That is, that is, that is tough news. That is tough news. Maybe I should just Dynamax Charizard turn one. That could have been the play. And he's going to go into a Hailstorm. He's going to change the weather up. And Torkoal should be able to eat this up pretty well. Yeah, Torkoal eats that one up pretty well. But no more Drought, which is tough. I should have just went into a Heat he Wave. I probably should have known that. I picked up the Double Kill. This Torkoal 100% would have picked up the Double Kill. And Freeze Drag is going to come out here. Um, Can we still pick up the Double Kill? Potentially? Maybe? Maybe? Let's see what happens here. Eruption comes out. Yeet! Double Kill? We do get the Double Kill. Okay, Torkoal. Hold the phone, Torkoal. Hold the phone. It really depends who his last Pokemon is. Yo, who is this? Bro, it's coming down. I know we're going to be slower. I know we are going to be slower. But we have to be able to want that with the Heat Wave. Come on, Torkoal. I got you, dude. I got you. I think we could have did a lot better if we would have uh, Dynamax that Charizard turn one. I think that was the play. I really do think that was the play. And it's the Darmanthan. Ooh. Ah, dude. That one hurts. That one hurts. This thing might not be Focus Sash, but we got to hope. We got to hope that uh, this Heat Wave can just uh, give it the old thumb skis. Or this thing misses. Something like that. Let's see what happens here. He goes for a superpower. He connects. Eat it, Torkoal. Yo, Torkoal. 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 His defense drops. We got... I'm done. I'm done with this game. I am done with this game. Bro, I am so done with this game. I am... I'm not playing this anymore. I am not doing this anymore. I got to see if that Darmantan was Sash. We probably would have won that game. That is whack. This thing was choice scarfed. Are you serious? What is my luck doing? How we missed that heat wave last moment? He's not even Sash. We would have won that game. I call bogus, yo. Are you kidding me? That is absolutely absurd. Bro, missing my heat wave. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We're going up against another semi hail team. This one has a little nine tails and Glaciani as the Wimscott Gudra. Hit him on top probably with that uh the fake out and the intimidate and the Hydreigon. And the Hydreigon. Who am I going to lead? Do I go Sun Team again? Or do I just play Trick Room? I could just play the Trick Room card and go Dust Clops. I mean, dude, that's probably where it's at. That's probably where it's at to go Trick Room and not even worry about the hail and all that. I say we do it. I say we roll out with uh, Dust Clops and Hmm, Dust Clops and Tokus turn one, and then we roll Twirkle and Titar in the back end. Twirkle and Titar in the back end, because I can eventually just bulldoze that thing up and Dynamax. That could be the smart play. 
yeah bulldoze and dynamax trigger that weakness policy and get rolling out from there so we can actually control the weather as well with that sandstorm try to take off that uh that hail as well so he, he will be our back end pokemon hopefully he doesn't lead the lola nine tail so we can set up the uh the, what's it called the roar bell but i can always swap in torkoal i can always swap in torkoal as well when i do have him he just lead the lola nine tails that's totally fine that is totally fine we're gonna lead these two i think i'm just going to uh swap my what's it called swap my toe kiss get the torkoal in just to prevent him from uh even putting up an roar bell We'll get the drought up there. We can be chilling. We can just be fine. We got Frisk. We see a Focus Sash and a Weakness Policy on that uh, on that Gujra. So I do not want to trigger that. We're going to go here. We're going to go Trick Room. And do I just go, in all honesty, do I just go with uh, with T-Tar here? Or do I go with Torkoal? I said we just go Torkoal. I said we just go Torkoal here. It's fine. It's fine. I just say we uh, keep our Torkoal. And save our t for that back end. So we'll take out this hail. So hopefully he was going for an Aurora Veil and it doesn't work. Because we are changing the weather. That's what I love about this team. This team has two different ways to set in weather. We can go Drought or we can go Sandstorm. We can kind of control it at our own pace. He goes Aurora Veil. <laughs> Bad play, buddy. And he goes Blizzard. Miss. Of course, he connects on both of them. And he's probably going to get a double freeze because my luck's trash. Let's see what happens here. Trick Room gets going. Oh, we yo. They don't want it. They don't want it. We're going for a big old eruption here. I'm going for a big old eruption. And then I think I'm just going to, uh, this thing has a focus hash. I'm just going to go into that eruption. Let's get it. Let's roll. Oh, we coming out hot. He's going to Dynamax at Gudra. He is going to Dynamax at Gudra, which is totally fine. He's probably going to target down my, uh, my, what's it called? My Torkoal. If my Torkoal does survive, I might just yawn that. I probably am going to yawn it next turn. But I want to get an eruption as our health is rather high right now. So I can do bigger damage, especially in this heat. And he's probably going to actually change up the weather. Which, which is totally fine. He's probably going to set the hail once again. Let's see what happens. Protect comes out. Oh, you little smart cookie. You little smart cookie. He's going to he's gonna change up the weather. Eruption comes out. Hmm. Do I Dynamax and set the flare after this? Is he, I know he's going to drop like a hailstorm or something like that. Like, you know what's happening. Nightshade comes out. He blocks that. Hmm. I mean, he can't get up on a war bell. Oh, you just go straight for a geyser. That's cool with me. That's cool. I'm yawning next turn. You go after my Torkoal. He's taking out the heat. And the heat actually allows us to survive. So that's cool. Definitely yawn next turn. Definitely yawn into a Nightshade. Onto that uh, Alolan Ninetales. I think we're, we're playing just fine. We'll definitely go Nightshade. Take off that thing Sash. And then I'm going to just yawn on over on this Gudra. Put that thing to Slumpy Poo City. So he will actually miss his last turn. Ice Shard comes out. Oh, and he's triggering his own weakness policy. Yo, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. He's going to try to take out my uh, my Klopskis. But I do hope he goes after my, uh, my what's it called? My Torkoal. Because I kind of want that Klops to trigger my own weakness policy. Nightshade's going to take off the Sash here. Yoop. No more Sash for you. And he's going to go into another Max Geyser. And that actually might go towards my Dust Klops. Let's see what happens here. Nope. He goes after that. That's totally fine. We're going to Dynamax. We're going to Bulldoze. We're going to get rolling here. We're going to get rolling here. He gets a crit. I'm totally cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. I think it's going to go to sleep. What is it? Next turn? Does it, does it get one more turn? Or will it be this one? Let's get this out here. Let's get this out here. We're going to bulldoze. Hopefully, we are slower than that Gudra. I think we probably are, to be honest. Let's see it. Let's see it. I mean, bulldoze is going to lower everyone's speed. And we're going to get Sandstream. No more water. Get out of your water. Get out of here. Let's get it. Let's get it. And Titar can actually eat up our special special defense shots pretty well. So, bulldoze is going to pop out here. Triggering that. And then I'm just going to uh, Dynamax and take out... Um, hmm. Do I, do I potentially see a guard coming? Hmm. I mean, Gucci's gonna go to sleep, so I can actually just target her down later. I'm just gonna take out this Nine Tails. I'm just gonna take out this Nine Tails here. Probably should have actually took out the the Gudra, but uh, yeah, I should target down the Gudra. <laughs> now that I think about it, he's gonna withdraw the Nine Tails, which is totally fine. He's gonna get in the what's he getting in there? The Hydreigon. Okay, we'll drop a rock on the Hydreigon. That's totally fine. We will drop a big old rock on that thing. Bulldoze we'll won't touch it. And I know this thing's not sacked, so we're probably just gonna dump on this thing. Hmm. Get that T-Tar up here. He's probably going to go for another Max Geyser, which I think we should be able to eat up just fine. I think we should be able to with uh, 414 HP and in that Sandstorm. What happens here? Bulldoze comes out. Yoink. Levitate. It does not touch. Hydreigon. We are going to trigger our weakness policy and we're going to slow down both of our mons. Let's see it. That's why Bulldoze is so good. It slows down the mons and then it what's it called? And then it, you can trigger weakness policy. Like it's so good. It's so good for Tricker. Huge. 
We're gonna go first. Rockfall's coming out here. I should've hit that Gujra so hard. I should've hit that Gujra so hard. But we're gonna take out the Hydreigon. See you later, buddy. Get out of my face. Hydreigon gone. Get it gone. But he's gonna be able to actually set the uh, hail once again. I think that, that that was his whole play. He's gonna go for a lightning. Okay. Okay. I'll take that all day. You can go for a lightning. My Dust Cops will eat up another turn. My Cops will eat up another turn. Okay. I'm not worried about the Gujra. I'm not worried about the Gujra. My Dust Cops can actually just target down the Gujra now. It's going to go to sleep. And it's gonna, it's Dynamax turns are gone. It's Dynamax turns are gone. So we're sitting pretty here. We're sitting pretty well here. We got a weakness policy, T Tar chilling. He's gonna probably come back in with a little nine tails, set the hail. But we still have a, what do we have? A turn or two left in trick room? So beautiful. Let's go, let's go. Oh, I, oh, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? My drink came back up and splashed me. Splashed me right on the, right on the cheek and on the lip. I was like, bro, what do you mean? You guys probably saw that. It's like, Jeans, what are you doing, dude? Learn how to drink, dude. I'm like, all right, we'll get him next time. I think that one in the chin, we'll get him next time. But like I said, the Dynamax is over. He's going to go to sleep because, oh, no, he set the electric train. You little biscuit. I think set the electric train. And I'm actually just going to Nightshade over on you. And I'm just going to uh, take away this uh, Sandstorm. And I'm going to say, or take away the hail. And I'm going to say bye-bye to the Gujra. That's why I went for the Max Lighting. He didn't want to go to sleep. Smart play, smart play. He set the electric terrain. I, f I feel like if Yawn is already in effect, then the electric terrain cannot stop it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If I put on Yawn before electric terrain's out, like, come on. That should be a thing. Nightshade comes out here. Yoink. Do some damage right there. I'm going to say bye-bye, Gudra, And we have one more turn with this G-Max, not G-Max, Dynamax T-Tar. And weakness policy is triggered. So this one's looking so good. This one's looking so good. We play this one very, very well. We have Tokus in the back end, just in case. I think Trick Room ends, but no one's one tapping this T-Tar. No one is one tapping the C-Tar. That's a fact. Roar Veil pops out. <laughs> 0 for 2 on Roar Veil's Nine Tails. Get good, kid. Get good. <laughs> You're trash, kid. Get good, kid. <laughs> Dude, that's like my favorite gaming turn. You're trash, kid. <laughs> it just cracks me up so much. But he throws out his final mon, and it's going to be the Whimsy Poo. Whimsy Poo, you ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. Uh, let's see. Do we have one more turn in Trick Room? We do not. Trick Room is gone. Trick Room is gone. Just hit this. Yeah, you want you want to play games with me? Actually, I'll just go here. Let's go for a nightshade over on you, and then I'm just going to uh, drop a drop a rock over on the Wimscott. <laughs> We're just dropping rocks here. Big old stab rock slabs. Battle was canceled. Easy like that. Easy like that. Now we are one and one. I, mean, I think we should be two and zero. Oh, but dude, we played that one so well right there, and we ended up picking up that win. I'm really enjoying this team right now. It's so simple to use and it's so good. I think I'm going to start pushing the rank ladder with this team because it's just it's just amazing all around. We're going into our third and final battle. This guy has a glaring wheezing. He has a trick room team of his own, so we might have to bring in trick room Pokemon as well. But I got my boy Grookey to actually help me out picking out the team. Um, hmm. What do you think we should go, Grooks? Okay. Okay, yeah, I know he has a trick room. I know he has a trick room team. I could see that. What's this dude doing? What's this dude doing? He's just a starter. But dude, Grookey's my boy. Grookey's my boy. All right, Grooks. I think we're going to roll out with, uh, hmm. Do we roll out with our tricking team of our own? I think we got it. I think we have to. Or, or, we can go, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here and, mm, I'm going to go here, here. I'm not going to bring my dust cops. I'm not going to bring my dust cops. And I'm going to bring Tokus like this. I'm going to get rolling like that. Grookey, does that sound good? Yeah, dude, it does sound pretty good. Yeah, you like that we got the grass type up in there. He likes how we have Venusaur up in there. And we're not going with the Dust Cops because he can set the Trick Room. That's totally fine. I think he's going to leak Galarian Weezing and uh, Dust Cops. Rookie, we good? We good? Dude, I know he has a Trick Room team. Like, dude, why you keep... Dude, he keeps telling me he has a Trick Room team. We got to get him out of here. Grookey, thanks for coming. Thanks for helping me pick a team. You're the best. Team Grooks, guys. Team Grooks. <laughs> he just keeps telling me there's a Trick Room team. Like, I get it. I get it. I got it. I understand. I could tell. Next time, maybe we'll bring a uh, special guest, Squirt Bunny or Sabo over here. Wait, let's go Weezing here, which is uh, totally fine. We should be able to one-tap that, uh, that, what's it called? I mean, I think he's going to protect, to be honest. Oh, he goes Misty Surge. So we sh actually, can we still get Weather out on Misty Surges? Right? Yeah, Drought comes out here. We should be able to just one-tap that T-Tar. Or not T-Tar, right here. But did we say it goes into a Protect? Hmm. I'm definitely going into, uh, probably Heat Wave. Because he might actually target down me. And I'm just going to go roll into an energy ball and pose a big threat over on this right here side. I'm just pose that threat. I'm just pose that threat. This was actually a very solid lead for me to go with. Because we have this turn one. If he would have went into his Dust Cops to set Trick Room, that's fine. If not, we have the speed advantage with that Venusaur. Like, oh my god, dude. What a play by me. Thank you, Grookey. 
Grookey came in in clutch. Grookey is coming up clutch, picking out teams for us, helping helping me pick out the teams. Maybe next video we'll get a special guest, Score Bunny or, or Sable, or if you guys want Grookey back. Actually, let me know in the comment section down below. Who would you like to see as the next special guest? Would you guys like to see Grookey again? Would you guys like to see Sable or Score Bunny? <laughs> Let's see what he does. He is going to withdraw. He's going to withdraw. I did pose that threat on that thing. And he's going to swap into the Conqueror. Okay, so Conqueror's going to take some nice damage from the Energy Ball. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Bring that thing down to half. And we will outspeed it next turn. Clear Smog's going to come out here. And that's totally fine. You're just going to go for a straight Clear Smog. All stat changes were removed. We have no stat changes. And we could potentially take out that, uh, that Conqueror here. Yep, Conqueror gone. Conqueror out of here. Get him going, kid. I think I'm going to Dynamax that, uh... The Venusaur. I think that's the play. I think we just Dynamax Venusaur right here. We have the speed. It really it depends who he goes into. If he goes back into my period, 100 percent I'm Dynamaxing. 100 percent Rolling out with the Dynamaxing. Let's see what he goes into. He goes to Cops. Um. Hmm. Can I put that thing to sleep? Can I slump that thing? I don't know. I don't know. Um, that thing is gonna go last. So I'm definitely gonna roll in an eruption. I think I Dynamax here. They drop an overgrowth on this thing. Was Eruption the right call? That's the problem. Was Eruption the right call? Or do I just stick a Heat Wave? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the Heat Wave. I mean, not the Heat Wave. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick with the Eruption. I'm gonna try to counter this. I'm gonna try to counter this hard. I think his last resort is to get this Trick Room off. If not, we have that T-Tar in the back end. But still. It, maybe I shouldn't have Dynamax. I don't know. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. I'm gonna double. I'm gonna double up on this. Uh, this what's it called? This dust cops here, and see what happens. Cause if we can just dump on this thing, it's game over. It's GG. Cause I think he's gonna go trick room, and hopefully that uh that wheezing targets my Venusaur now, so we can have more HP on that uh that Torkoal, so the eruption can do bigger damage. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine all around with this. We got Life Orb, big stab, max overgrowth coming out here. We got an eruption popping off here. Let's get it. Overgrowth. Yoink. Get him. Get him. See how much damage we do. Mmm. This is going to be close. This is going to be close. It's going to be so close. Come on, Torkoal. I need you here, buddy. I need you here, Torkoal. Torkoal's got to come out clutch. Let's see what the Weezing goes for. Weezing goes for another clear smog. Oh, over on him. He's going to target him down. Come on. Yo, eruption. Come up clutch. Come up clutch. Nightshade comes out. Oh, he's going for a Nightshade. Okay, never mind. Good game. Good game. Good game, big dog. <laughs> this is such a good game. Oh, it's over. It is over. It is so over. We got speed all day. Heat Wave's gonna come out here, take out that wheezing. Um, and then I'm gonna just uh, boost our special attack. No, I'm gonna make sure that thing goes down with a uh, with an overgrowth. I'm gonna make sure that uh, I'm, actually it should go down as a heat wave as well. So I'm actually just going to boost our special attack. Actually, it's not very effective. But Quake, boost our special defense, that won't do much. So yeah, another overgrowth is just going to fly through. And we're going to pick up the double kill here. Oh my god, he didn't roll Trick Room. He didn't roll Trick Room. I don't know how this match would have went if he would have went Trick Room. That would have been like, it would have been close. A lot closer because he still has that Rhyperior. Jeez. He still had that Rhyperior. So just saying, he would have got Trick Room off. That's fine. Um, He would have start. He would have started to go first. I mean, my Torkoal could have been pretty good. And we have Earth Power with it as well. Which it would be slower, but still. But still, all around, it would have been tough. It would have been a lot tougher. Heat wave comes through. And we miss another heat wave. Like, what you mean? What do you mean? Okay, so we can one tap up this right period. 100%. 100% we can one tap the right period. That's a fact. But I think he's going to Dynamax, go into the max guard, block that. And then I think we just throw a nice big fat energy ball towards it. <laughs> <laughs> but I have my Tokus and Titar, who I think both are faster than this thing. We just gotta, we just gotta play this one uh, rather slow. I like, I wish this Heat Wave one would have actually hit. Like, what you mean the Heat Wave miss? We're gonna go into the Overgrowth and try to finish this thing off. If this guy doesn't protect or guard, he's done. He's done. He's so done. Which that would be a smart play. He's not. What's he doing? Oh, he's just pr straight up protecting. Straight up protecting. So he's still gonna take damage here. That's actually better for us. It's actually better for us that he didn't Dynamax and go for the Max Guard. I don't think this guy really knows too much of what he's doing, but still, we're going to be able to do some solid damage through the Protect. Can the Heat Wave actually finish that thing off? It actually might be able to. Let's see, we trigger its weakness policy, but he's not going to go first. He's not going to go first, so we got this one wrapped up. We got this one wrapped up unless this Weezing takes me out. 
screech comes out. <laughs> what is this guy doing? I think he just gave up or something. Heat wave comes out. Oh, that's protected. I was gonna say we missed it again. Heat wave should be able to take out Weezing. Yeet. Boom. Weezing gone. Yo, sweet. Easy sweet. Easy sweep, yo. This team is phenomenal. We're gonna go one and two with this team. Probably should have went three and oh, dang it, missing that heat wave. Grookey, I know, I know, I know we missed a heat wave. I know we missed a heat wave, but yo, thank you, Grookey, for clutching this one up, helping us pick out this amazing lead right here with the Venusaur and the Torkoal to get the drought rolling. This guy didn't roll a trick him, though. He didn't roll a trick him. I don't know why. Let's finish this one up. Let's go into a uh, EP. Nice little Earth Power, right, Grooks? And Grooks, what do you think we should go in here? Obviously, energy ball. Yeah, yo, you're right, you're right. He's like, yeah, just do the grass move. <laughs> you just cancel the battle. Yo, GG to this guy. We go 2-1 and one with this team. This is going to be my new team that I used to push on the rank ladder. It is so simple, yet so good to play. Like, I love it so much. I think we could have won that first one. Not only did we miss that heat wave, I think we should have Dynamaxed that Charizard right off the bat and get rolling from there. We probably could have dominated that hail team with that, but that one's on me. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.